There's a lot of people who don't like taking synthetic supplements of any kind for various reasons. You may have digestive issues, it may interfere with a prescription you're currently on, or you just don't like taking oral supplements. So in this video, let's take a look at the topical use of MSM. First off, MSM is not the only type of sulfur there is. There are different types of sulfurs. Some are made in a lab, a whole bunch of different types are made by nature, some are edible, and some are poisonous if you consume it. For this video, we're gonna focus on the synthetic lab-made sulfurs. As I mentioned in the last video on oral MSM supplements for hair growth, MSM is made in a lab. The significance of MSM is that it's the first and only stable, synthetically made sulfur that's safe to consume orally. All the other synthetically made sulfurs cannot and must not be consumed orally. So MSM is safe to consume and these three are not. But they're all safe to use topically on your skin. So I'm gonna explain the benefits of each and show you the best way to use them. Let's start with the one we're most familiar with. There's not a lot of studies out there on the topical use of MSM. And when there is, it's usually mixed with another ingredient. That's because its main function outside the body is as a penetration enhancer. It's a driver that helps other ingredients that it's mixed with penetrate better, like vitamin C on steroids. People often say, take vitamin C with MSM because the vitamin C will help your body absorb the MSM better. It's actually the other way around. The MSM is the one that helps your body absorb the vitamin C or any other ingredients it's mixed with better. In a mouse study, researchers evaluated the effects of hair growth with a mixture of 7.5% magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, or vitamin C, and MSM in a water solution. MSM was observed with concentrations at 0%, 1%, 5%, and 10%. The results showed that hair growth was dependent on the MSM concentration. So the more MSM in the solution, the more increased hair growth. But on the flip side, the results also showed the MSM increased the transdermal retention of the vitamin C. In other words, the MSM drove the vitamin C deep enough into the skin to be able to hold on to it for longer making the vitamin C more effective. So it's unclear if the hair growth was from the MSM itself or its ability to help other ingredients penetrate better. It provides a lot more benefits if taken internally, but it's still safe to say it serves a function externally as well. So here's how I would use it. My onion juice recipe does not just have tons of sulfur in it. It's also packed with so much more. It's already very effective with promoting hair growth and improving the overall health and appearance of your hair. But adding MSM to this already powerful treatment will help it penetrate even more and enhance its benefits. Here's a link to a video on how to make the onion juice recipe and a link to a video on how to add even more herbs to your onion juice for added benefits. MSM is water soluble, so just add the MSM crystals to your finished product. Fun fact! I see a lot of people mixing MSM crystals into oils. MSM is not really soluble in oil, but it's really soluble in liquids. A big part of how effective it will be is based on its spreadability. So if it's not fully dissolved, it will not be as effective. So always make sure to mix MSM with a liquid or at least a product with a liquid in it. Using too much MSM can dry out your skin. So for every eight ounce of onion juice, add four teaspoons of MSM. You can use this treatment on your wash days in this order. It's smart to do a patch test first to make sure you're not allergic. If you have a hair loss issue that you're trying to treat, pick a time when you're gonna be home and massage this treatment into your scalp every day. After one week, wash your hair. Depending on how advanced your hair loss is, you can keep going for another week. Just make sure to wash your hair at the end of each week 
and take breaks. So two weeks on, two weeks off. I used my original onion juice recipe for a whole year and took pictures of my hair's progress every month. Here's a link to that video. It's a great visual to show you just how powerful my onion juice recipe is. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how to use the stronger non-ingestible forms of sulfur and their potential risks. Thanks for watching. See you next video.